Welcome back to MBE. Today, we have some rocker gear set up for our new conventional big block Chevy head. This is not a 24 degree or a 26 degree head. This is an 18 degree head. Okay, something like this will smoke an SR20. It will blow it in the weeds. This is a 2500 valve compared to a 2400 valve in an SR20. Um, it flows more than any other uh, 18 degree big chief flows, okay? Everything's been raised up in it on the top of the head here. All this has been raised up. Okay, it's our own casting. Rodex is friendly enough to make these for us. Okay. Um, but what we've done here, like I said, all this is raised up. Spring pockets are raised up. So you have a true oval port now throughout the whole head. Okay. We have a manifold with enough plenum volume in it to feed high RPM or large cubic inch. Okay, this thing will make is going to make a lot of power. Okay, you're going to it'll make more power than any other conventional head available. Okay, it flows uh, 530 CFM. We guarantee the flow numbers as always, and that's on a 1020 bench. If you put it on your 600 bench, it's going to flow more. Okay, but some of the things we did: a conventional big block Chevy has pedestals holding the rocker bar on each a pedestal 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 and they all go through the intake port so they never have enough meat to hold the bar on or each pedestal so but when you come to MBE we take things to a whole nother level okay not one fastener is in the port you see they're on the side of the port they have all kinds of threads to hold in you have a one piece bar not individuals okay so this is really designed for truck pulling. It'll work great for drag racing. It's excellent for drag racing. But this is designed for truck pull guys who have to use a conventional head. Okay. This will, this will make it so the Ford guys don't have an advantage. Okay. I think every Chevrolet guy knows that an A460 will pretty much beat any other, any other big block Chevy, um, including our own. But this will smoke it. This is, a, this is better than the A460. So the Chevrolet guys never have to worry about the Ford Advantage anymore. This will even things out. Actually, you're just going to be a lot better. You're going to make a lot more power. Okay, you can see we do all of the, uh, you know, we port the manifold for your cubic inch. You can see in here like everything matches perfect, just like everything we do. All right. Like I said, this manifold has enough plenum volume in it. Okay, you don't get that. You don't get that from any other any other one. But the head has plenum volume also. Okay. Problem with the conventional head. When we look in the intake ports, when you go over the short turn, which would be the area right right here to here. Okay. Inside the port, over the short turn. The problem with all the other conventional heads, it's not raised up high enough at the spring pocket. So if you can see this, the ports do not change shapes. It's a, it's a direct oval pull all the, all the way through. What you have to do with the other heads, you, have, you, go, you go extremely large at the flange, and then all of a sudden you have to go width-wise, okay? They, always, they have way too much taper, they never pull fuel, and they're dogs, they're pigs. And you know why? Because they're based on 1965 technology. That's what all that stuff is. 1965. I think we're better than that. That's 55 years ago. Welcome to 2020. That's what we have here. So an oval port makes it much more efficient. Like I said, one of the main things is, is we don't have large taper rates. When I say taper rate, I'm speaking of the area from here to here. And here to here. So if you grab some dividers, I should be able to find some dividers here. Okay. A normal big block Chevy head will be about a half inch larger at the flange, at least a half inch, sometimes more. Especially those 380s and 400 cc heads, which is absolutely ludicrous. It doesn't make absolutely no sense why, and they never work. Okay. Okay, so now you have a port with hardly any taper rate, so it pulls fuel, meaning it has much better signal to the booster. It'll be more efficient, so in a truck pull motor, it'll be so much better. It's gonna, it'll make so much more torque. 
when the sled starts coming up, the thing's still going to pull, okay? Pro and, 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 and same with the drag racers on the gear change. When it gets in the gear change, it's just not going to go blah. The thing will travel. It's, the, the, the travel times will be excellent with this. Like I said, this will outrun an 18-degree Big Chief head. Our own 18-degree degree Big Chief head, this will outrun. It flows more air than the best ones we've ever done, okay? But this is a conventional head on steroids, okay? Once again, it comes with either steel or aluminum rockers. This happens, this happens to be a TND setup on this one. A one piece bar, which makes everything rigid, so when you want to run high RPM, you have less flex, so it doesn't break anything. You're never going to pull studs or pull the, pull the top of the port out of the intake port because there are no fasteners in the intake port. We have everything surrounding it. I said 18 fasteners holding the bar on. Two 500 inch 830 exhaust. Largest intake valve of any other conventional head available. Okay? This thing is a beast. And I want to thank you for your time. And seeing MBE's new big block Chevy conventional head, 18 degrees.